Hey guys, welcome to Dana Dream. It's Dana. How are you doing today? Are you feeling good? Are you feeling lonely? Are you feeling absolutely loved? Or are you feeling a little bit of a lack of self-confidence? Well, we're here to fix that today because today we are going to get sexy and in a lot of pain. Exactly. So today I will be teaching you some tips and tricks on how to dance in high heels. Nay, in every kind of high heel that might exist in your closet. <laughs> We're gonna cover all bases from the skinny heel to the thick heel to the boot heel to the all kinds of different types of heels today and how to dance nicely in them because when you're dancing in heels, it depends on the size and the style. So I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks on how to sort of adjust your body to that specific kind of heel. I made this video because I always see people in performances having to dance in high heels and they get they look really awkward and even though they think they look great, they actually don't look so great because the alignment is all wrong, the knees are bent and all of that which I'll be sharing later in the do's and don'ts of dancing in heels. I want to make sure that everybody looks good when they're dancing in heels on stage and I want to make sure that everyone is comfortable with the way that they look because if you're wearing heels and you're not confident in how you wear those heels, that's going to translate to your performance on stage and it doesn't matter how sexy you look, how, how awesome your hair, your makeup, your body, your dress looks but if you're wearing heels and you're not dancing well in them, you're going to look uncomfortable on stage and we're really going to see that. So I'm here to help you out today, especially for the beginner dancers who want to know what it's like to dance in high heels. I want to make you unafraid and take risks and be open to trying out different types of footwear because that's what this is about, to be experimental and to have fun. So let's get cracking and let's move on to the video. So before we begin actual dancing in high heels, it's highly crucial for you to have warm ankles in case of an event where you do fall. Hopefully that doesn't happen. It's imperative to make sure that your ankles are nice and stretched and warm. So you can begin with just twisting the ankle a little bit or doing some resistance stretches, flex and point. After stretching your foot, put on your pair of heels that you will be practicing or dancing with and then stretch your feet again with the heels on. This exercise is good to lock your feet into your heels. We do this so that you know that your shoes are working properly and that there's no problems. Always make sure that nothing is too loose but nothing is too tight. Make sure it fits properly that it won't fall off your ankle mid-dance. That has actually happened to me one time. I did not secure my tap dance shoe and I ended up kicking and it literally fell off my foot in the middle of a performance. It was really embarrassing. So make sure to try out a few dance moves if not the most difficult dance moves that you have for your performance and then just work out how you're gonna adjust your feet to the footwear. Now there are different types of surface areas that you can work with when you're dancing. To name a few basic floor spaces that's very common when performing, you have wooden, marbled, carpeted. For the rare occasion that you'll do a flash mob outside, you have granite. Alright, now let's move on to our first pair of high heels. This is the Latin dance shoe. It's made out of suede. It's got a very nice and smooth bottom which makes it perfect for doing turns and any other kind of floor work that requires a lot of movement. It's relatively low. You can get these heels in 1 inch, 3 inch, 4 inches. It really depends on you but the ones I have here are the 2 inch ones. Really great for almost every single surface area except for granite. These shoes are perfect for beginners because they're very lightweight. They don't hurt the feet so much and they're also very flexible. It's perfect for doing high kicks and run de jeans or any kind of leg work or footwork type choreography. Now when walking with this Latin shoe, because it is a relatively low shoe with not much structure in the bottom, you still have to put the effort of popping your booty out, shoulders down, back straight, neck straight, chin up, and of course, tuck in your belly. You can fully utilize this shoe to be elongated. Pros and cons. Pros, lightweight, inexpensive, flexible, and easy to wear. For our cons, it doesn't help with the posture so much. Not good for dancing on any other surface other than wood, marble, or maybe carpet. And the bottom is very fragile and can be destroyed after just a few wears, depending on the choreography or the type of dance and surface that you are performing on. 
So for beginners out there, if you are still uncomfortable with wearing high heels, I recommend trying out Latin heels, though it might be a little slippery at times. Uh, just give it a try, check it out, see if it fits well with you. Now moving on to heel number two, our basic chunky heels. Now these are actually a must for every beginner dancer. This is a really great type of shoe to start with. It is not recommended for performances on stage because the heel is a bit chunky and a little clunky looking but these are great training wheels for you to use to launch yourself into sexier and well higher footwear. So it's a very stable shoe to start with. You can do leg tricks, you can do one legs, you can do jumps and poses and very strong dances with this kind of footwear. This is the footwear I highly highly recommend to beginners especially starting out with high heel dancing advance yourself to the next level which is a chunky heel now what are the pros and cons of this shoe for our pros this footwear is definitely good for stability it is very stable it is easy to take care of and lasts a very long time and number three, it still has some form of flexibility. The chunky heel actually still has the potential of being able to point your toe even just for a little bit and for a little while. But for our cons is that for our newbies and beginners, this shoe could definitely be a little bit on the heavier side. It's also a bit more expensive. You really need to make sure to find good quality ones. But if your heels suck, and you trip on stage then your heels break that's another story and now for our third pair of heels is my absolute favorite these are combat heels they're basically combat boots but like heeled version when dancing with combat heels you need to make sure you've already moved up level one and level two because level one and level two heel plus a whole bunch of steroids is equal to the combat heel i definitely have used it a lot for jazz funk or power jazz dancing so it's very fun because it's heavy enough that when you do your kicks it like takes your leg all the way up there but then it's also light enough for you to do some fast footwork and some walking and also it looks bomb as hell and when you dance in the combat heels please make sure that you don't over arch your back because when you go to level three which is a big step from level two our level three heel basically starts to lift your body up so it starts by lifting your tailbone so you don't actually have to put so much effort in arching your back because your shoes are basically doing it for you and just take the advice from the previous levels all the way up till now for our pros and cons the combat heel is basically versatile with any costume it looks good with a dress it looks good with pants leggings shorts mini skirt anything it's very comfortable with use as you break it in more it lasts forever if you take care of it well and it's very easy to clean these ones can actually scratch easily because they are leather or fall leather so you have to be very very careful that nobody steps on your feet and you don't step on your own feet because i am guilty of that stepping on my own feet for our level four the stiff or thick stiletto heel the thing with stiletto heels is that even if you have a very thick base you'd still need a lot of getting used to when it comes to shifting your body weight now with these type of heels it's very easy to walk and look like a dinosaur while walking <laughs> and it's not it's not pleasant to watch especially if that dancer dances so well and then out of nowhere walks to her position looking like a Tyrannosaurus Rex and I really don't want you to look like that so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna stand straight make sure your legs are straight and you're gonna hyper extend that knee back yes I know this is not exactly the healthiest for your knee but you're already wearing heels you might as well go all the way and you're gonna start walking by slowly grazing your right foot forward the left foot forward right in front of each other kind of like a catwalk you can do an exaggerated version of this walk or if you already know this then that's great good for you but we are targeting our beginner dancers in this video today now our pros are that it is more stable than a regular stiletto and number two, it looks very sharp and makes a statement, both literally and figuratively. Cons, it is very hard to walk on, it can be very stiff, it is impossible to point your feet. So I highly recommend dances that are, in the Philippines we call them pabebe dance, which are mostly just standing. You don't really move anywhere, the most you do is like a simple turn and like a bunch of hair flips. If you're doing any extensions, it's gonna look really ugly because the shoe is so stiff, it'll be absolutely impossible to point those feet. 
And now we move on to our level 5, which is cigarette heel slash stiletto heel. A lot of people find this pair very intimidating, and so did I the first few times that I actually used it for a performance. But once you get the hang of it, this cigarette stiletto heel is very lightweight, perfect for doing kicks. It's very good for fast floor work. And please don't forget, when you are walking with these heels, do not walk in a way wherein your leg's weight is on the outside of the heel because that gives you more room to slip or to break your ankles. And we don't want that for you. When you're walking with these heels, you walk forward with your weight a little bit in the center so that you have more stability and that your center of gravity is actually in the center of your body. Pros of this shoe. It's very sexy, as you can see. It's very lightweight, very flexible, meaning you can do leg extensions and whatnots and one legs and run jeans and pirouettes. Well, maybe don't do pirouette on these, but if you can, why not, right? Now, the cons are it's very slippery because it's very lightweight. It can literally slip off if it's not secured properly. It's not that stable compared to the thick stiletto heel and it is very fragile, meaning if you're not walking properly, you are definitely going to break your heels on stage. Hopefully not. And now we have the scariest for last, pleaser slash pageant shoe. Now these are basically platform shoes with a cigarette heel and is a recipe for disaster I might say. Or pleaser shoes are commonly used for pole dancing, pole dance floor work. I was actually terrified uh, <laughs> a little bit when I was trying to film this part because I haven't really worn these shoes and danced in them in quite some time. But I did it for you so that I could show you what not to do and what to do when you have these heels on. Now when it comes to pageant shoes, these are both heavy and slippery. When you walk, you walk slow. You do not walk fast. You do not use these shoes for a power dance. You do not use these shoes for any kind of fast dancing. You use these shoes for a bunch of slow, sexy dancing. The best part about these shoes is that it basically, literally elongates your leg. I mean, look at the thumbnail of this video. I look like I'm six feet tall. Dude, I am five foot three. They're here to make your legs look long and good. How are we gonna dance with them? Choreography that involves a bunch of leg extensions because that is basically what these shoes are for. What God gave you, these shoes will show. Hence the reason being that these shoes are used for pole dancing and or pageantry because you should not be doing hip hop in these, you should not be running in these, you should not be doing dance hall or any kind of Latin dance with these on. Or if you know anyone who's done hip hop wearing pageant shoes and have not died or broken their legs, please comment it down below. I'd be really interested in seeing that video if it exists. Now, for the pros and the cons, they make you look six feet tall. If you're six foot, then it'll make you look like a seven foot tall person. They are extremely heavy, which make them a little stable. And come on, they look pretty. They look really, 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 really pretty. Cons, they're wicked expensive to buy. If you buy pleaser shoes or real pageant shoes, they're freaking expensive. They're very slippery. You could literally break your ankles with just one fall if you fall the wrong way. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and if you guys tried any of these tips and tricks or any of the advice and took a picture and whatnot, don't be afraid to post a photo or video or tag me on IG at Dana Dream or send it to me personally. I would love to see your progress on anything dance-wise. I hope I've helped you even just a little bit. And also, if you have suggestions, please don't hesitate to comment if you like this video, if you hate it because I want to make sure that I'm putting out quality content as much as I can and yeah it's all for you and I hope that you're really enjoying so far what I've been doing and for those of you who are new don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell button so that you can be updated on more dance stuff series videos thank you to everyone who has been supporting me and who subscribed y'all are awesome and I'm so happy that you guys are watching my videos <laughs> there's actually people out there who watch me yay anyway enjoy life stay awesome stay happy and stay healthy I still haven't figured out a real outro to my video so i'm just gonna leave it at that for now Mwah. i love you see you all next time and goodbye by the way i might be releasing videos every tuesdays and fridays instead of tuesdays and thursdays so we're gonna check it out if that works so yeah see you on tuesday bye <laughs>